of all the Dodge Charger Scat Pack owners, of all the Dodge Charger Hellcat owners, of all the YouTubers, Mopar people, of all the people in the world for something like this to happen to, guess what I found in my car on my way home after I got a notification on my iPhone for it? That's right, people. Somebody was tracking you, boy. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It is your boy, Knockout360, here with another video for you guys. So as you can tell, I'm in a car that makes this a car vlog. You don't know why it's going down when I come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you're in the right place, right? So um, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So let's talk about it. I'm out here at Mallet Creek Park. If you're in the Charlotte area, you know where I'm talking about. Mallet Creek Community Park. I'm out here, whatever. And I'm filming my homeboy's car. My man, uh, Warrior Scat, right? Uh, he's the one with the dope-ass green, F8 green Dodge Charger Scat Pack, right? He's got the dope-ass, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, hero graphics on the side of his car, dope-ass rims. I mean, his car is just dope from head to toe. You're going to be seeing a review of that here shortly in the next couple days anyway, so be on the lookout for that. So I'm filming his car. I'm up here at the park, literally nobody here. Um... So I say to myself, all right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to hop in your car, hop in his scat pack, and we're going to drive it on the other side of the park because there's some uh, shots back there that I can get, right? So I leave my car here. It's literally, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the only car in the parking lot, but it's like one of three cars in the parking lot. This is a big-ass parking lot, if you know what parking lot I'm talking about. This is the Mallet Creek Community, Community Park. So I leave my car, uh, not thinking anything of it. I lock it up. I put my camera equipment in the trunk. So that nobody can break in and steal my shit. I hop in my man's car and we go film. We're gone for maybe 30, 45 minutes at max. Like it's literally around the corner. It's all in the same part. Um, get back in my car. Uh, we finish filming. He brings me back to my car. Everything's good. I hop in my car. Um, about two or three minutes into my drive, I get a notification. The top one is from car lock. Basically telling me that there's a vibration. The bottom one is the bottom one is not from car lock the bottom one states that uh unknown device as in this bad boy has been found within uh, a certain uh vicinity of my car nfc tag detected open found dot apple dot com link so you know i'm freaking out because i've already made two or three videos about this i've already made two or three videos about people getting tracked and and cars getting stolen and people getting tracked all the way back home and then people showing up at the crib later on and then still in their car so i freak out i pull over immediately like and uh i click on the link and this is what it took me to see this screen right here i'm going to blur out a little bit of information because i'll, I'll tell you why uh, at the end of this video but that's the screen that it took me to about this air tag it gives me the serial number it gives me the owner's phone number the last four digits it blocks out the first what uh seven digits of the owner's phone number the first six digits and it gives me the last four i don't know what good that does but whatever it says an air tag is used to track in everyday items like keys or bag the serial number is registered to the owner of this air tag if this air tag is not familiar to you learn how to disable it and stop sharing your location and then it gives you a link instructions to disable you click on the instructions to disable and it tells you how to disable the Apple AirTag and stop it from uh, tracking you. And essentially all you got to do is push down on it, pop out the battery, and the, obviously the device is dead at that point. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you exactly where the device is in your car. So you've got to rip through your car and, um, and find the damn device. So as soon as I get this notification, I freak out, pull over on the side of the road, NFC tag detected, open found.apple.com. I'm thinking to myself, of all people in the world for this to happen to, it can't be happening to me. Like, you you can't think I'm that stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just made two or three videos about this, like, last month that did pretty well. Um, so whatever. Get the notification, click on the link. It takes me to the screen. I'm looking at the serial number. Serial number means absolutely nothing to me. I'm looking at the owner's phone number, and I'm like... Damn, this shit looks familiar. The last four digits of this phone number looks familiar. And I'm like, whatever. So I read the information. I go to instruction to disable, right? Because I'm ready to disable the, uh, the damn AirTag or whatever. But then I look at the phone number and again, and I'm like, 
there's no way in hell that anyone else has that phone number except for your boy. Somehow or another, Apple screwed it up to where it didn't recognize that this AirTag that's in my car is mine. It thought it was somebody else's AirTag who was tracking me, an unknown, an unknown um, you know, AirTag or whatever the case may be, right? So I go into my system, my settings or whatever, find my, and it's got all my information here. You know, hold on. Let's see if I can get that to focus in right there. Yeah, that's my name if you didn't know Dante. Dante's keys, Dante's wallet, and the machine, which is obviously my damn car. So I'm like, okay, so all three of these are reporting as normal. And they're reporting on me because I have my wallet in my back pocket, my keys in my front pocket, and then obviously the machine is my car. Somehow or another, it did not detect the machine, which was my car, as a device that was linked to my information. And then somehow or another, it sent me that uh, notification about an unknown tag being uh, discovered, uh, NFC tag detected, openfind.apple.com link. So once I start putting two and two together, I came to the damn realization that this is my air tag that it's talking about. This is not somebody trying to track me. This is some this is my air tag. Somehow or another, Apple screwed it up and they just didn't pick up that it was mine. But what this was was a good learning experience. And I say that to say I've never had that notification pop up on my phone before. So I was never able to accurately replicate that and show that to you all and be what you know be prepared for what could happen if somebody was tracking your shit. So needless to say, that's the exact notification that you should get on your lock screen. So as soon as you pick up your phone and your phone comes on, you should see that notification that an NFC tag has been detected. Click on find.apple.com to find out more about what's going on, which is dope because it lets you know that there's an NFC tag that's been detected and you have a couple options to do something about it. You can choose not to do anything about it or you can choose to disable it. Now, the only problem with it is it did not give me the option to locate the damn air tag. And I say that to say, you know, if you are looking for an air tag uh, that's yours, you can go to the Find My Phone app and click on Find Nearby. So, as you can see here, let me get you guys in focus. As you can see here, click on Find. And it's going to give you all the way down to the damn feet, which my keys are literally right there in the you know center console. So it's going to tell me it's right there. And obviously you're here. And then once you click on it, you're good to go. And then it's going to pull up the AirTag Dante's keys. You're good to go. Fortunately, with unknown AirTags, it's not going to give you that option. It's not going to give you that option to track it down and, and walk it down and, and learn where you know it is exactly in your car. Unfortunately, you're going to have to do the legwork yourself. Now you can use, you know, like I said, on our cars, the only way that you could actually, you know, stick it to somebody's car is it has to be under the rear bumper. And I've showed you guys that. Let me show you again. So I've showed you that the only place that you could actually try to steal these cars is by putting it in here somewhere, right? Or one in, in the fender somewhere, you know? Um, aside from that, there's no other actual way it's the notification to look for. If you get that notification and when you click on the find my or the find.com Apple or find, I'm sorry, found.apple.com link and you don't recognize the phone number that it's attached to because it's going to give you the last four digits of the owner's phone number. And that's how you can track down whether or not it's yours. If you don't recognize those last four digits, it's not yours. It's somebody else's. At that point, you're going to have to disable it, but you're going to have to find it first. So that's the catch 22. But I thought that was interesting, man. I did want to make a video about that because it happened to me and I freaked out instantly. Shout out the car lock. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they recognize some vibration, they be on it. But it happened to me and uh, I thought that I would report that back to you. But needless to say, the charge is fine. Nobody's trying to steal my shit. I did have to clickbait a little bit. You know how that go. But yeah, guys, just watch out for what you do, man, because people are, um, they're still using these air tags to break into people's cars. Subscribe, comment. It's your boy, Knockout360. Just a quick video to keep you guys on, on your toes. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.